Hey everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Marshalls and TJ Maxx makeup minute. We have a big winter storm coming here in Arkansas, even though it was 75 degrees just a couple days ago. So really quick, I just want to blow by TJ Maxx and Marshalls, let you know what I could find. Here we have the Sephora Pro highlighting face palette. They have both the warm and the cool shades available. I was super lucky and found the Sephora Hakuhodo Cheek Brush. This is the Japanese makeup brush brand, but they made a synthetic brush in its own box for Sephora. I picked that up for $5.99. Here we also have a restock of the Tutti Frutti Do You Face Primer. Here's the Becca Skin Love Luminous Face Primer. Also, you saw the Watermelon Palette. Here's the Razzle Dazzle Berry. Lots of the Tutti Frutti Cheek Duos. So, let's see what these shades are real quick. Um, there's Vanilla. We've seen that one before. I can't get these out of here. They've got them in here pretty good. Here's some e.l.f. products. Uh, a good resupply of the Stila Glitter & Glow Eyeshadow Trios. This is only $12.99. So if you're looking for some Stila, that's a good deal. Um, what else do we have? Mm. Oh, here's my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Luminous Blush in Dahlia. I ha that's red. That is a beautiful red. Here's some Laura Geller. Um, oh, here's Cherry Bomb. I missed this one on the first go-round, so I'm going to pick this one up. I have almost all of them now. There's the Pomegranate. Um, this is the Bounce and Blur Bare Minerals Coral Blush that we saw last week. Very popular. And here is the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur Eyeshadow Palette as well. These are all shimmers. There weren't any mattes in that palette. That was a little... It, it would have been nice to have one matte. Some more Razzle Dazzle Berry. Um, the Bare Pro Perfecting Veil. This one's in porcelain. That's a little light, but seeing a lot of bare minerals. Here's the Naked Flushed Palette. That's pretty cool. It's got the highlighter, the bronzer, and the blush in there. There's more bronzer than anything else, but they have got plenty of those. Here's a Naked Skin One and Done. This is like a, um, it's a blurring. There's a lot of dimethicone in it, so that's kind of, it's like a mattifying, um, I don't know. I didn't pick it up, but it looks interesting. The Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, we've been seeing that for a while. So a resupply on that. Here's some Physician's Formula. Oh, hey! Fireball, my favorite shade. This is the uh, Naked Illuminator. So I am picking this up. Uh, that looks like the Rio palette back there. What else do we have? There's some more Perfecting Veil. Um, let's see, some more e.l.f., uh, another Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation, that's pretty good. Um, what else? I gotta look through these palettes down here. This is where I found the NARS Wanted Cheek Palette one time, and you gotta dig through all this off-brand stuff to try to find something good. Um, let's see, I don't see anything. What, what's this? Uh, it's the Laura Geller duo, Glow Beyond. I heard Laura Geller's days might be numbered. Her whole website's 70% off, I guess. But I've never tried any of her products, but I've heard that they're very good. Um, here's the ABH Contour Cream Palette we've been seeing for months now. I keep waiting for it to wind up on the clearance. I'll pick it up if it gets to the clearance aisle. There's some CoverGirl something, I don't know, all the same shade. So, what else do we have over here? Um, let's see. Here's a Becca foundation in an odd packaging. This must be really old. It said that it was a long wear foundation, but I'm a little leery because I love Becca, and I have not seen that package before, so that must be super old, I'm guessing. I don't know. I opened it up. It had a pretty glass bottle in it. Um, there's a bunch of Revolution highlighters. Here's the Marc Jacobs Pencil Trio. We've seen quite a bit. Um, what else do we have? Lots of Revolution this go round. Rev last, last week it was all BH palettes. This week it's all Revolution. What else do we have? 
Um, there's some more Laura Geller. Here's some more Bare Minerals Powder for $7.99. Um, let's see, what else? Some more of the off brands. More Revolution. I don't buy Revolution. I bought a couple before. They were copycat palettes. They looked like Too Faced palettes. One was a mint chip. Uh, I gave that one away. And I guess it's good eyeshadow because it's buildable. You know, if you're just starting out, I find that it doesn't have much pigment in it and it copies name brand. So I don't really like, you know, blatant dupes. Um, so. What was the other Revolution palette I tried? I don't know. I declut. Oh, the mint chip. The the rose and the mint. Here's the It Superhero palette. I bought the It Naturally Pretty palette. That was an all matte palette. Again, not much pigment, so um, not a fan of It Cosmetics, except for they had a really nice powder with SPF in it that they discontinued. So um, I don't care much for their foundations. Uh, what's next? Oh, we got some more bites. Um, what? Oh, here's a Becca set. I haven't seen this before. This is a Becca full size lipstick and two pencils. I'm gonna get this because I've never tried it. I mean, I swatched the Becca lipstick. It was very hydrating. I thought it might move around, but I'm gonna pick up this set because I love Becca and it's got full size products in it. Up here I found a Bare Minerals. Now here's a Gen Nude uh, Matte Liquid Lipstick. I do love that. But I also found a Long Wear Matte Bare Minerals Lipstick, which I love. Um, that will be in the haul. And I was going to buy one of those full price, and I didn't. So I'm glad that I picked that up. Here's those Noonie Lip Oils. These are really good. They are like a fruit lip gloss but they they stay on like a lip gloss, but it's a lip oil, and these are delicious. So I'm picking up these Noonies. Here is a Laura Geller lipstick all in the same shade. Um, I found one of those on clearance, so I picked that one up instead of these. Um, yeah, if you see Noonie, pick it up. That's a Korean brand. I picked it up. I tried it, and it's awesome. They make a wonderful lip mask that has the same consistency as Laneige. And the lip oil is fabulous. Oh, here's a watermelon. I haven't seen this one. Bump and rind. Yes, please. I want this. Okay, I got it. I want it. I got it. Here's some more pineapple palettes. Um, some more. What is this? A Laura Mercier lip pencil and lipstick. Yes, please. I'll take this. Okay, I got it. Um, what's back here? Okay, we've got a. We've got more of the tutti frutti. I already have this one, I think. I don't know, but there's a palette back here by Pure Etienne. I hope I'm not mispronouncing that. I've tried Pure before. I have the Creator palette, and I like it. I'm not in love with it. I'm not going to get it, but this is a fantastic price. Um, I'm over at TJ Maxx uh, with this stuff, and then they've got a great uh, supply of the Tutti Frutti as well. I see um, here are some of the Juicy Fruits. Oh, this is a really good one. Fruit Punch. I love these. I have this one. It's a great shade. It puts a light stain. It smells like Hawaiian Punch. Here's some more of the Watermelon Dew Setting Mist for $14.99. They had five or six of these, so that's a great deal if you're interested. Here's some more of the Pineapple. Um, let's see. What else is back here? Um, oh, there's one of the uh, jelly bronzers, or was that a highlighter? Sorry, I went too fast on that one. And uh, here's some more Do You. Um, yeah, okay. Boy, the Tutti Frutti, they are dumping. They must have made just too much of it because it is, it's all over the place now. At first, everybody was grabbing it, but now it's caught up supply and demand. And Alyssa Edwards isn't going anywhere either. Everybody's tired of her. She's piling up. A few Riviera palettes. Here's a nice Milani palette. These remind me of the Stila 12-pan eyeshadow palettes. They're very pretty. I picked up a couple of these. Um, uh, here's some more Revolution palettes. What else? Some more e.l.f. stuff some more no name um, you gotta dig through this stuff to try to find something good 
there's the superhero palette again. Uh, what else? I guess I'll get, I don't, I can't remember. I bought two Milani palettes and I can't remember. If, I don't think it was either one. Uh, I think I'll probably pick that up. See what it is. What's this? Cover effects rose. Okay. This is a three pan. There's a rose, a gold, and a, um, a white highlighter. Here's some more of the Milani blushes with the rose embossing. That is so pretty. What else we got? Oh, here's that 100 Shadow Elf palette we saw before. Don't need that. There's a whole bunch of pixie stuff. There's the Urban Decay Vice. There's some more of the Revolution Highlighters. There's some more Too Faced. What else do we got? Yeah, Revolution everything. Um, blush Duos. Ardell Lashes. Um... Yeah. Tutti Frutti supply and demand is finally catching up. It's not flying off the shelves. That's a nice setting powder there. Um, whoa, what is that? The Bare Minerals Mother Load, I'll say. And some Urban Decay Velvetizer. I heard that Velvetizer had a sticker on it over the naked skin. I don't know. I, I didn't buy it to find out, but I think that's why they were dumping it. Um, that was a rebranded item. Um, what else do we have? Some more Stila. Oh, here is the giant. Came out this past Christmas, holiday 2019. Gosh, I wish that was my shade. That's a medium beige. That's not going to work for me, but that is the humongous Bare Minerals holiday 19 setting powder. Here's some more of that dusk shimmer palette. I wish they had Dawn or whatever the name of that other one was, that Bounce Blur from Bare Minerals. Uh, there's the Kevin Aquan lip gloss set. We've seen that last week. There's some Becca Skin Love. Um, let's see, there's some Physicians Formula powder. Here's a Laura Mercier cheek brush. Twelve. Well, I just picked up that Hakahoto one, so I don't need this one, but... Uh, more Laura Mercier I haven't seen. Uh, what else is there? There's the Skin Love. Um, more Bite Beauty duos. The $4.99 little mini duo set. Same color that they've had. Um, what else? More Bare Minerals Perfecting Veil. NARS! Yes, here we are. What do we have for NARS? Give me some blush. Uh, let's see. That's an eyeshadow duo. Okay. NARS has really pretty eyeshadows, but I don't really need single pan, duo pan eyeshadows, and that's what they mostly have here. Um, the single pans are $5.99. The duo pans are $7.99. There's a single pan there. Oh, here is a Cover FX. Ve oh, I'm getting that. That's Amethyst. That's the shade I was looking for. That is so funny. I was looking for the Amethyst shade. What is this? NARS Orgasm Illuminator. Okay, that is an all-over illuminator in the shade Orgasm. That's their iconic shade. That's the shade you want to find. And you can put that on your shoulders or whatever, wherever. That's a body all-over shimmer there from uh, NARS. And there's some Anastasia. I was looking for some audacious lipsticks. Every once in a while, if I go through this stuff, I can find a audacious lipstick. There's some more single pan eyeshadows. Um, they're very nice. I just, I just don't need a single pan eyeshadow. I would, I'd like, I'm looking for blushes is what I'm looking for because I found Super Orgasm a couple weeks ago. And then last week I found a light pink. I can't remember the name of it. It started with an A. Um, but anyways, it was a light pink. So I was just seeing if they got any more blushes and maybe they'll start coming in. Yeah, there's one there. All right, there's Super Orgasm. I already got that one. Um, that is the pink with the gold glitter in it. That's pretty. Um, it's like, uh, what else do we have? Oh, here's one back here. Ah, Angelica. This is the one that looks like the uh, NARS, uh, not the NARS, the Natasha Denona Love Glow palette, that one that I had broken, that Barbie pink uh, heavy glitter. That's what Angelica looks like. That is so funny. I was just talking about that. And here's another one, too. This one, um, this was kind of a more 
I can't remember that color. Anyways, here's a more of a resupply of the Milani palettes for $2.99 that come with a brush. Here's a ton of pineapple palettes and more Razzleberry. So, okay, anybody who wants to get some uh, Too Faced, uh, now's the time. Plenty of it. What else do we have? Here's some, uh, I don't know. There's some of the Milani $2.99 palettes. That looks like some CoverGirl or some Maybelline City palettes. Some more lashes. Um, there's an Oddball brand. And then we've got some more Milani blushes and bronzers. Um, okay, that is it this week over at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I got to get home before the storm hits. My name is Jackie. Please like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know what you found at your TJ. Oh, I've got to get this bronzer. That is so pretty. That'd be good for summer. Anyways, okay, thanks a lot, y'all. That's it for this week. Um, leave me a comment, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.